God, I genuinely like them, and I genuinely. respect him as a coach and I think anybody who knows anything about basketball has to respect them but in the end when you have a star like Jason Tatum and make no mistake about it ladies and gentlemen that brother is a star Jason Tatum is a star and guess what so is Jalen Brown the bottom line is you should be better than a 500 team now of course we got to look at Kemba Walker He's got to play better. He hasn't been consistent. He's been injury prone. We get all of that that's played a role. But in the end, he's got to play better. It's up to Brad Stevens to figure that out. And when I look at Brad Stevens, here's what I see. I see a guy that knows the game of basketball that can coach his butt off. My question is the motivational skills that he has available to him in his arsenal. Are you the kind of guy that can galvanize the troops and maximize the potential around you? Of course, he's respected. Of course, we look at him and know that he knows the game of basketball. He knows what the hell he's doing. But I'm talking about that, that leader of men that's able to peel something out of you that you might not even know is inside of yourself. The great, great coaches figured out a way to do that over the years. It would be Phil Jackson, the Zen master. It would be Pat Riley, the winner within. It would be Mr. Fix-It, the great Larry Brown, who doesn't get mentioned enough, who's a Hall of Famer. You know, the Chuck Daly's of the world, God rest his soul, and what he was able to do with the Detroit Pistons. The list goes on and on. The great Popovich, of course, we can't forget to mention him. It's something about you. As a coach, where you shove aside the X's and O's because everybody knows what the other is doing, that's able to peel something out from inside of you and say, okay, I'm going to maximize the potential, even the potential you didn't know you have. That is the element I have not seen from Brad Stevens. And I think the Celtics have reached a point where now it's called upon to find out whether or not Brad Stevens has that little extra something in him to get that little extra something from his players, the players around Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. I have not seen that yet. And as a result, I think you're going to hear a lot of noise about Brad Stevens. If this stuff continues in Boston with these guys struggling, you're going to hear a lot of people talking about why have we raved about Brad Stevens so much? They're going to be asking that question, fair or unfair. You got Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. This is the sport of basketball. You should not be a 500 team with two studs like that. I don't think walk. this is a Brad Stevens issue. You want to blame someone off the court, you can blame Danny Ainge. And Danny Ainge blamed himself a couple days ago. He talked about roster construction. He may have to make a move. I'm going to get to that in a second. You want to blame someone on the court, you can blame Kemba Walker. Because, but it's, it's, which is, look, he has a bad knee. Kemba has a bad knee. And he is known as a tough guy and a real leader. And so my sense is that a lot of guys probably wouldn't be playing if Kemba's playing like this as a result to the knee, of the knee, but of course he wants, to, he wants to play through. Look, the Celtics as constructed, they're a good team, and it's not that they're not a deep team. Like Robert Williams, is, that's a fine, you know? He can really, he's long and he can play defense, and, and Tice is a good player, and they have good players. Marcus Smart, who's out right now, is a good player, but these are all essentially defensive players. When you look at the roster, it's not deep, Offensively, you have two excellent wings in Tatum and Brown. And you're right, Stephen, that's more than a lot of teams have. But a lot of other teams would have more depth in terms of various players who can score. Obviously not on that level, but who can go get you some, some points, can get, go get you some buckets. The Celtics don't have that. They're really relying on Kemba to be that other guy offensively. And when he's not, where do the Celtics get the points from? It's hard. You know, like, where, where do the Celtics get the points from if not Tatum and Brown? And it's not like Tatum and Brown aren't giving you the points. It's not like Brad Stevens isn't doing things to create opportunities for them and to, to kind of optimize, to maximize what they have. He is, and they are. They're great, and everyone knows it. But who else is there? It's supposed to be Kemba. If Kemba is right, we talk about big threes. That's a legit big three if Kemba's right. He has not been Kemba Walker. And when Kemba shoots like he does last night, you're not going to win. A couple games ago, then you might win, right? 
That's what it is. I can't look at Brad Stevens and say that's on him. I'll say it's, I don't even like to say it's on Kemba because I think he's hurt. But if you want to blame someone on the, who's actually playing, you can point to Kemba Walker. When he doesn't hit shots, very tough for them to win. You want to point well, to someone off the court, Danny Ainge. Well, first of all, you can look at Kemba. Clearly, he's not 100% healthy. Just looking at his shots on the highlights alone, you see him leaning heavily and favoring his left leg heavily, trying to stay off that right leg. That's number one. But number two, and more importantly, let me tell you something. Your points would be valid if we're talking about championships. I get that. It's not valid because we're talking about a team that's at 500. They should not be a 500 team. They should not be giving up 24-point leads from the third quarter on. If you were good enough to be up 24 points, you should be good enough to hold on to the lead. Not that that's the kind of stuff doesn't happen in the NBA because we understand that it does. But there are too many occasions where we've looked at the Boston Celtics who have been in games, who have had leads, who have blown leads, who haven't been, who have just fallen apart. And we wonder what the hell is going on. And the reality is, is that that's Brad Stevens' job to fix it. When you got 30 teams in the NBA, this is a very big coveted job. A lot of people want opportunities to be a head coach in the NBA. And if you have a situation where you've got two studs like that, you got to know how to close. You got to know how to finish. Now, they've been to a couple of conference finals. We get that. And Brad Stevens can coach again. Nobody is questioning this coaching ability. What we're saying is, in the end, the personnel that you have available, are you maximizing the potential of all those guys around Tatum and Brown? Because Tatum and Brown are going to be who they are. Who are the other dudes that are going to step up for you? What kind of system do you have? How are you utilizing the personnel that you have available to you, et cetera, et cetera? Anybody else we'd be asking that question about? Why does Brad Stevens get a well, pass in terms of asking those questions? Well, That's I, the I, bottom line. I wouldn't say he gets a pass. I think if you just analyze it, you have two guys you could look at to say, like, what's the Celtics? I'll give you more specific, you know, in terms of your point. I think it's late game collapses, right? Because it happened again, and this time in a huge, obvious way. Another late game Celtics collapse. And we can look at defense, but really... It's the organizer of the offense. It's the guy who's making the decisions. Marcus Smart is out, yeah. and Kemba Walker's hurt. I think really that's what's happening as far as that goes. Yeah, but they started off even before Marcus Smart got hurt. They started off the season. We didn't like what we were seeing from Boston um, at the very, very start of the season. Oh, and then we then we blamed the bubble. You know, we knew Kemba was out, but we blamed the bubble. And such a short, you know, the season ends in September for them, and then they come back and they play in December. No. No, a whole bunch of other coaches don't get that excuse. Brad Stevens not going to get it either. And I respect him. The hell, I respect right. the hell out of him. Uh, you got to do it. Boston, Boston ranking 